Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to Creative Art. I am Nilima, bringing you the best art tutorials on YouTube. So if you're an art lover, do get connected to me by subscribing to this channel and don't miss any updates on any art tutorial by clicking the bell icon. In this tutorial, we will be doing an accent fold just under rupees 500 using Fevicryl acrylic colors. So do watch the complete video till the end to make your own accent fold and get all the details about the price and calculation of colors. And friends, I'm going to give you all the tips and tricks at the end of this video. So don't miss it out and do check out the description box for any details or links. So let's start the video friends. In today's tutorial, we are going to paint this wall which is right behind my bed. I have removed the headboard of a bed so that we can paint this wall and make it into an accent wall. This wall is also the half of where I paint and do my shooting. This is my working space. Jealous? Okay. Are you jealous? First of all, friends, make sure that your wall is clean. As this is a as this is a freshly painted wall, it's just been few weeks that we have painted this wall, so it is already clean. If your wall is not clean, use an empty sponge like this, dip it in a lot of water, and scrub your wall in this way so that your wall is clean and tidy before you start painting on it. So now friends, let's start pouring some paint. These are all the colors I'm going to use for painting my wall. The first one is white, fresh tint, teal blue, neon pink, neon orange, yellow. And for the finishing touches, we're going to use these two beautiful pearl metallic colors, gold and silver. This time for painting, we are going to use sponge instead of a brush which will help us in covering wide areas on wall and this is also very useful when we are dabbing and merging the paint one into another. This will speedify the entire process. Hi Mickey. So this is how he sleeps right on my place. As this is a big painting, so I'm going to use a plate as my palette. To start painting, this is the type of sponge I'm going to use, which has a dotted texture like this one. First of all, I'll dip my sponge completely in a mug of water, squeeze it out, and then one by one, I'll start tapping it on the paint in this way. You don't have to fill up the entire brush using the paint, just the tips randomly, and then take the dark color like this tap it on an empty plate like this to see how it's coming and then it is ready to paint your wall
first of all mix the desired color you want to place on your wall then just tap 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 your sponge on that desired color then start rubbing that sponge on your wall in this way only to the part you want to color it do this step till the entire water of your sponge is on the wall and when your sponge is a bit dry again take the same color and start dabbing it on the wall in this way this will create a very beautiful pattern on your wall as well as this will be very helpful in mixing different colors each time you have completed dabbing your main color add a little bit of fresh tint and white mix them both to give it a lighter shade at the edging and add this back to your main color about a day to paint the entire wall so now i'm going to let it get dry for 24 hours and then i'm going to show you how you can do the finishing touches which will make your wall look a more softer give it a very posh and neat look as if a professional has done the work till that let's start calculating the amount we have spent on this wall for this wall i have used five colors the first one is 017 neon orange 018 neon pink 03 chrome yellow white 27 and my most favorite and the neutralizer color of this wall which is fresh tint 30 and other than these bottles i have used a small bottle of a teal blue color 68 
In all, I have used five different colors for this wall and each bottle costed me just 90 rupees, which is the recent price of all these bottles. And the most exciting thing is I still have half amount of color remaining in this bottle as I painted just 8 into 10 feet wall. So you can also paint a 12 into 12 feet wall using the entire bottle because I still have colors remaining in them and you're not going to need this size of big bottle, just these 100 ml bottles will be enough. And now friends, for the finishing part, we are going to use two colors. These are my most favorite colors and I do use them in all of my paintings. The first one is gold and the second one is silver. It is completely optional and depending on your use is the amount of gold and the amount of silver. So for the entire wall, I'm going to use one bottle of gold and just a little bit of silver. And I'm going to use silver only on the parts where there is a little bit of white and pink present. Other than that, for the entire yellow part, gold part and cream part, we are going to use gold color. So now let me show you the trick how you can do the finishing part using these two colors. Now friends, this is the second day and I'm going to add a gold shimmery touch to our wall using this gold acrylic color. And for this, we're going to use just a little bit of gold in this way. Take it out in your palette or plate and then use a wide brush like this one. This is a 32 mm brush. Dip it completely in a glass of water. Make sure that the brush is completely wet. Then mix the color entirely in water like this. Make sure that there is a lot of water in your paintbrush and this is how it should be. And then using the paintbrush, gently slide the color in this way. Take a little more of water and slide the entire brush in this way. This will give a very light tint of gold as well as provide a finishing touch to your entire wall. As there is very minimum of gold color in your paintbrush, so it will just give it the perfect amount of shimmering look we want and also a finishing touch to the edges. As you move towards yellow or cream, you can see that you can add a little more amount of gold to your wall and this is how beautiful it will look. And in the same way, friends, you can also add more of gold or silver depending on how bright you want the wall to be. For example, if it is yellow paint, you can add a little more of gold from the edges and give it a very nice clean edge in this way. And if it is a bit of pink, you can add the silver shimmering touch and you can clearly see both the differences over here. The right side is pink so I have added silver and the left side is yellow so I have added a golden shimmering touch but if you go a bit far you'll see the color is clearly visible this is just the reflection of light now friends after completing the entire coloring part and the golden shimmering part there's just one thing left to do which is to make corrections if there are any on the side of your walls so for that I'm going to mix the same color of my wall which is a bit peachish pinkish color but it is very light so I'm going to mix a lot of white with it and then using this kind of flat hair brush I'm going to make few corrections and a very straight line to the wall so that the entire painting on the wall is very clean so each time I'm going to take the same color and place it on the wall in this way this will give a very beautiful finishing look and wherever there is some other color on wall you can first of all place some white color and then do the finishing part like this one. Now it's time for a few tips and techniques. So the first one is this. Use this kind of sponge which has a texture on it and this is a very easily available sponge because this is the same dishwashing sponge we use. And this wavy pattern on the sponge is really very easy and helpful to blend the paint as well as it gives so beautiful and even dots on the wall. I absolutely love how pretty, even and easy it is because it gives so uniform dots. The second tip is the amount of water we are going to use for this painting. 
so when you're preparing your palette only prepare the palette of color in other jug or a mug use fresh water each time dip your sponge in the fresh water squeeze it completely like let it leave the water completely and only then start tapping with this wavy patterned foam on the paint don't tap it completely just the tips of this wavy foam you can see the color is a bit change in the tip as compared to the sponge because each time i just tabbed only the tips on the plate and that is all we need to make that dotting beautiful pattern on our wall our next tip is once you have completed coloring with one color of paint for example i'm using neon pink i'll wash my sponge very clean and clear and only then i will be using my neon orange or yellow color and my last tip is friends is about the teal blue color so the teal blue color is whenever mixed with the fresh tint it can give you gray and if it is mixed with yellow it can give you green color so the teal blue color is a bit risky while you're using so in the same way there are many more colors which can turn your wall into gray if you're mixing the opposite or the contrast colors so be very careful you can simply test out a small portion of color in your palette mix both the colors and know whether both the colors give you a gray color or not so that is the safest way how you can save your wall by turning into gray or black or giving you bad patches and my next tip is friends to make a sample painting on a small piece of paper or a canvas board like this as i was going to paint a wall of this size so i did my sample painting on a canvas board and the right part you can see this part is the next side wall and this is the top of my wall and before coloring this canvas i already matched the base color of the canvas board with my wall color and though it absolutely came as i practiced so friends this is the best thing and my best advice to do if you can paint a canvas board or a paper you can easily paint your wall and now friends after coloring the wall i have left it for at least 24 hours to let it get dry completely and finally this is how bright and beautiful our accent wall looks and just because of the shimmery gold and silver color we used you can see the reflection of light looks so beautiful and bright on the silver where we have done pink color and on the yellow where i have done gold so it shimmers from far it shimmers when light is reflected it shimmers when sunlight falls on it and i just love it it perfectly fits to the interiors we have as well as it matches with rest of the three walls in my room i'm very happy with the outcome of colors we have got and these colors make me full of joy and happiness so now friends as i have said in the starting of the video that we have made this accent fall in just rupees 500 let's quickly check out all the calculations and exact name of the colors we have used to paint this wall i hope friends you have liked this video because this is not only a cost efficient accent fall but the paint we used is also non-toxic and odorless so friends do give it a try make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about painting your own accent fall and if you do like my videos friends please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching bye